It's all made by students and me. I make some of it too. None of this work is coursework. All of this work is work that they make in addition to. And my students, you know, I tell them every semester, you have to make more volume because literally in two or three hours, all of that work can be gone. Um, and so I know there's way more pieces this time than there has been in the last couple of studies. mugs more than anything. Um, I've tried to make them like bigger than um, usual because I've got the complaint that they're too small. So <laughs> I tried to really push the size this time around. Basically what I do is I start on the wheel. I throw I throw pretty much everything. Um, I just feel like that's my go-to um, making method. But I throw probably like 10 to 12 cups at a time. And then after they dry a bit, you can trim them. You have to let them dry so that the bottoms are hard enough to trim. And then I put handles on them by pulling the handles, and then they're ready to place. So, I mean, a lot of my work, I, I tend to focus on a lot of bright color. Um, and a couple of years ago, towards the end of my, um, my undergrad, I really started getting into airbrush work, specifically with underglaze, just because the the brightness, the intensity, the color is pretty unrivaled to traditional glass glaze that you usually use with a lot of ceramics. Um, and at that time, I was also doing a lot of variegated roll printing and printmaking here. Uh, so I kind of just had the inspiration to combine what I was doing in printmaking with color into my ceramic work. And that's how I started getting a lot of these types of Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is um, this is the actual place, a glass glaze um, that I've fired up to cone seven. Uh, this is an underglaze. It's something that you can use on this square, uh, which is the, a fired piece before you do a glaze firing. And you can also use it on greenware, which is just the wet clay body itself. Um, but it's it's kind of a, it's basically a dyed clay that you can use on ceramic pieces. So I think it boosts their confidence um, and it gives an opportunity for the public to give them feedback. Ceramics is, a, is an interesting material because it's art, it's a material that is used in both sculpture and in functional work. And in functional work for me, the one of the emphases is on high craftsmanship. And so it also provides the students practice in making work that's really well crafted.